Kevin Spacey. Oh my. Star Trek Discovery actor Anthony Rapp has accused Kevin Spacey of making a sexual advance at him when he was only 14. In a response that has sparked huge amounts of criticism, Spacey tweeted his sincerest apology late Sunday night and came out as a gay man. Easy dollar 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 until someone else stands up this is bullshit Michael Jackson went through the same bullshit and it was all fabricated if there are more accusations then there may be some credibility to it until then let's wait until we see more lol two minutes ago he came out as gay as this guy a fucking idiot does he have a publicist holy shit the timing that's what my link is I didn't click it I don't want viruses big boy but yeah he's very likely guilty I'm at this point I was drunk I don't remember by the way I'm Gay. Kevin Spacey, a notorious wiener grabber. He pulled the gay card, bruh. That's even better than the race card. 100% success rate. Spacey gonna get off clean. But now he's gotta take dick though, so hope he's being honest. In Hollywood right now is guilty until proven innocent. And even then, everybody thinks you're guilty. The lies of diddlers in Hollywood, hopefully they all get exposed. Fucking liberals, man. Had a feeling this wasn't going to end here. Weinstein and Spacey now. This is eerily similar to what happened over here in the UK after Jimmy Savile died. If you don't know anything about Jimmy Savile, Google him. Or don't. Spare yourself the disgust. The guy was a complete cunt. Anyway, long story short, one major public figure was accused of sex crimes going back decades, and what followed was a year or so of constant accusations against other high-profile figures. Lots of innocent people had their reputations ruined and lost their jobs due to false allegations, and the irresponsible media whipped the whole thing up into a frenzy. Maybe one or two genuine offenders came to light throughout. Anyways, yeah, looks like a similar situation developing in USA. I reckon this is just getting started. Oh boy, doesn't help that Hollywood already has a seedy reputation. And given your media appear more reckless and sensationalist, I reckon this could get pretty crazy. Conspiracy of silence is what allows these shits to get away with it. I don't get it, sexual abuse seems to be an inside joke with a lot of the people in the know, and none of them name names. Nobody comes forward, no doubt because they fear their power, but as Lee, what would stop a bunch of high profile celebrities who knew someone was dodgy all banding together to call them out, don't get it. The silver lining of the spacey revelations, House of Cards season 6 will be the last, it must stop now, I'm sure this is going to be a fun filled thread, and not at all controversial. Look at people like Tarantino, according to him, his GF told him about Weinstein, but he just kept his mouth shut, because it allowed him to keep making movies. That's how this shit happens. There was a scriptwriter who heard a girl say she was meeting with Weinstein, and he warned her to be careful. She told Weinstein about it and dude's script writing days were done. LOL no. Now I feel like I have to post up the Triumph the Insult comic dog at the Michael Jackson trial video again. Read the rest of the thread, no refuse. I did, but you still claimed the Michael Jackson stuff was fabricated. Thus, lol no. Well, you can't be serious right now. You mean the fact that Jackson would have kids stay at his house and lay in bed with them and they would play? No, that's like totally normal and fabricated. Testimony like Culkin's was countered by Jackson's cook who said he witnessed it. Corey Feldman, who we all know was friends with Jackson, said himself, I started looking at each piece of information, and with that came this sickening realization that there have been many occurrences in my life and in my relationship to Michael that have created a question of doubt. Others on Jackson's staff had similar stories. Jackson had money and he made it go away, much as Weinstein was doing. 
Fuck yeah, dude. Whatever you but don't think critically or dream about his case. Believe the tabloid. You're a dumbass. The fact that there is no evidence of him diddling slash raping anyone is clear. Please read the above link and get educated before you continue to slander this man. Jackson was the equivalent of the tickler from Mind Dinter. You must be one hell of an ace detective to be so sure he committed crimes. Where were you during the investigation and trial? I'm pretty sure Corey Feldman is adamant that Michael Jackson never did any thing to him. He's got names he hasn't gone public with that ruined him and especially Corey Heim. But Jackson isn't one of them. I don't really care either way, but is Reddit now a reliable source? LOL apparently. Consider the source of the source. Maybe they have more to gain from it be keeping quiet. You don't know. Maybe it's like any scratch or but you scratch my thing going on. They have something to hide. Honestly, I'd say the biggest factors are. They get feathers from them. A bump in the pie check if they're an employee or if they're a friend. Maybe they develop a blind spot. Or perhaps they have something to hide. It also seems to be part of the non full menu we mean. So they just seem to shrug some of it off. Igor, what happened man? This is not the yell I stand only a few months ago. Nothing happened. Just trying to educate ladies ignorant ass. The man behind the mask. Igor, is it forbidden in your family to not be a raging cunt? Quit being a little bitch. I'm 100% right with what I said in this thread. Get fucked you chum. I never said you were wrong. It's the way you went about it. Vlady is a pretentious asshole in his tone and deserves to be put in his place when you talk like you think you're smarter slash better than everyone you come off as a huge asshole don't care how I sound at all. Oh boy. I would say I'm one of the more reasonable and tolerant people here. But goddamn even I can run out of patience. Igor needs to be flushed. Okay. Accusing someone of sexual assault slash rape is very serious. Many men have had their lives ruined by false accusations. It's what led to Jackson's drug abuse problem and ultimately his death. People that spew bullshit are the ultimate scum and don't deserve to be coddled. Can I get a source on the allegations being what caused Jackson to start taking enough drugs to induce a coma in an elephant? Chris raped me. Quote by Igor at November 1st, 2017 at 1214. When you talk like you think you're smarter slash better than everyone you come off as a huge asshole. Don't care how I sound at all. Did you think you were copy slash pasting that into the quote upper rows? Yeah. I don't talk like I'm smarter or better. I just call out bullshit when I see it. Wouldn't there be backlash if someone made false accusations? Isn't this why people normally don't always come out when things happen to them for fear that people won't believe them? You could be right. I'm just saying. Um, no. Flee this topic. You're too pure to witness this. Don't worry, Sash. I'm in this possession. I'm perfectly well protected. You're a sexist wiener kid. You should start at square one with your own bullshit. I might have to go hashtag Team Eager because you guys are picking on him and I always root for the under pooper. I'm starting to think Eagle got a couple months ago when the real Eagle is in the get out sunken place. He's still inside there somewhere as a passenger. Fight the Igor. Fight it. Ha. Huh. Laughing my ass off. Someone's triggered. I'm not sexist at all. I mean, I don't know if Igor is sexist, but he is an asshole without empathy or social awareness, so I judge him on that. When Nufo is the voice of reason, you know the thread has reached its pinnacle. Yeah, I really muddied the waters by calling him a sexist. The important thing is that he is a twat. He knew Spacey was gay when he did that menage a toy in the White House. Dude, what, not cool. Also, you talk like you're smarter or better or something. Change that shit for I'm square one. Whilst I agree Igor was acting like a dick earlier, sorry bud, nothing he has said even slightly suggests that he is sexist, and I find the accusation ridiculous. That accusation really holds no weight anymore given how wantonly it is thrown around. I actually agree with a lot of what Igor has said over the past few pages. Guess I must be sexist too. I am also concerned about the danger of false accusations. However, just because I am concerned about false accusations, 
doesn't mean I can't be supportive towards potential victims and want to see justice served. I don't think anybody here disagrees that this abuse happens, nor that rich, powerful people have a tendency to get away with it. What crime do you not have a better chance of getting away with if you have money and influence? But personally I'm a little disturbed that some people appear to be fine with doing away with the presumption of innocence, as if it's just another obstacle the powerful use to obstruct justice, and not a basic legal right that protects us all. I appreciate sexual abuse isn't an easy crime to prove, and there are a whole variety of reasons people don't come forward, but what are we supposed to do if not operate under the presumption of innocence toward the accused? Are we supposed to listen and believe instead? I'm sure most of you would at least accept the possibility that some accusers will lie. Which leads me to ask, do you think it is an acceptable trade-off that some people could have their lives ruined by false accusations if some genuine offenders are brought to justice? There is something oddly appropriate happening in the UK right now which perfectly illustrates how ridiculous these things can become when presumption of innocence is sidestepped and given over to mob rule. Tonight, the defence secretary resigned amid allegations that he placed a hand on a female journalist's knee 15 years ago. And the deputy PM stands accused of the same thing, on top of sending a lurid text message. Oh the horror. The latter accusation came from someone using the hash sign me to hashtag. It is true that to the rich and powerful, the law doesn't always apply, and I don't doubt that a lot of people are getting away with some heinous shit. But does that mean we should resort to what is essentially mob justice and trial by media? May. One more thing. I find the statement teach men not to rape as pointless as teach men not to kill men no rape is wrong. K bye. I wonder what concerned mother thinks about all this. Surprised no one brought up the issue of rape in the military yet. Let's talk about rape in the military people. Here they all shout together naked. Likely a few cases of accidental rape now and then. Accidental rape. Maddie, you know Mark Wahlberg is an asshole who violently attacked a gay man, right? My avatar is Donnie Wahlberg portraying Carwood Lipton in Band of Brothers. It's impossible to stop culturally because sociopaths exist. If that's an answer here that could be an answer to any or every crime, I don't buy it. Non-sociopaths commit crimes. Also, I don't think sociopaths control what's going on culturally. To be more clear, when I say stopping something culturally I do not mean stopping it absolutely. Oh, that would be great. I mean not living in a culture where this is so widespread that it comes out within a month that multiple public figures have done it. Which fears do you guys think are secretly sociopaths? Let's see top 3 answers from everyone. I think this will be a great exercise, and exactly what this thread needs. Number 1. Girl. Number 2. Countess. Number 3. Countess. Wow, what's an SJW? I didn't know either at first. Igor seems to use that term the most. There's a lot of people on this board that like to get offended for the sake of being offended. They don't even know what's so offensive about what they're getting riled up about. I don't understand why people feel like they need to let everyone know they're offended and that they think somehow people give a shit if they are somehow offended and that they somehow deserve a remedy for the fact that they are offended. It's literally narcissism run amok. All straight men are rapists. Going by the I see this thread reference all over the place. I need to go back and read it. No.